All right, we're going to uh, start the Town of Sangerville Board of Selectmen meeting. It's Wednesday, October 9th, and it's 5 o'clock. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, we have a public hearing that uh, we need to uh, to have tonight, so we need a motion to recess this meeting. Let's make a motion to recess our Sleckman's meeting. Second. We're all in favor. We're now officially recessed. We're now going to start the Town of Sangerville Board of Selectmen public hearing. Um, it is 5.02. October 9th, 2019, and the purpose of this hearing is general assistance guidelines and update for 2019 and 2020. The meeting is open. Would anyone like to say anything about this hearing? Hearing seeing none. Make the motion to close the hearing. Motion adjourn. to adjourn. adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? We're now adjourned. Uh, make a go motion ahead. to go back into our regular uh, Board of Selectmen's meeting. <clears throat> Sorry. All in favor, we're now back in session, and um, we have some good news today. Uh, representing the uh, um, American Legion. American Legion, correct. Ron, would you like to speak? I guess the only reason I'm here, apparently, is... You people have to vote to accept money as a gift. So that's why I'm here just to offer okay. you the money that we have available. <laughs> For the sale of they sold? the American League. Well, oh. it, no, there's oh. more to it than the sale. Ah, okay. There's, there's all kinds of money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There is. But in our uh, trust fund. We get about three thousand, or yeah, three thousand and a quarter off of this trust fund. If something happens that we dissolve the American Legion post, the stipulation in this is that the money goes to the town of Sangerville. Oh. It's three thousand a quarter, and to be used for education. And I think that's kind of hopefully loose, loosely interpreted. I mean, next the ball field, the recreation department, that's education as far as I'm working. So. Well, we've got a huge annual education budget, so <laughs> yeah. any, any, any money we get could go right towards that and would help a lot. So. About 3600 yeah. from the trust. But they're also going to turn over the proceeds from selling the building and the... the Things in the building, and whatever's left in their checking account when they get done paying a few m minor. Bills. Does it all carry the same stipulation as far as use? No, no. no. That's only only for that endowment that we had. Okay, that's well, that was the only one. The but the gentleman wanted hours <laughs> this get. money to upkeep a monument lot, perhaps parks and rec. So add these two together, and this will come as a lump sum eventually to the town, should we decide to accept it. Correct. Which is going to be roughly thirty, almost thirty-five thousand dollars. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah very. Nice. Wow. So as far as the trust um, is, is that um, in perpetuity? Yeah. It is, and it's three thousand dollars a quarter. Well, basically, yeah. No, it's nine hundred a quarter. 30, oh, thirty-six hundred a year. Oh, is it? Uh, okay, is it, okay, is okay. it somehow linked to okay. interest rates, or is it? Does it vary? Or it's in a trust. Yeah, there's some. There's some. Uh, it's in Bank of America. See, the problem yeah. is the woman that handles our portion of it. She's out of the office. 
<laughs> well, I couldn't have signed anything anyway, but, right, but, but we could have and, uh, moved. <laughs> Brad and I came up and we met with Brian, Brian and uh, Brian. <laughs> and uh, we called down there and the lady was out that. for the day. So we still had some questions that we wanted to answer. And, uh, it's in the Bank of America in their trust. It's in their trust department. department. Uh, but we don't know the balance of the trust. No. We um, don't know any We don't know any details, details about yeah, the trust. No. There's got to be a trust document someplace that would be interesting. It um, would be an interesting read. Brad Ellis had a lot of the old documents. It started out with North Star or Northeast, which bank, whichever one was there at the time. Um, but yeah, there are some I mean, trust documents. That one's easy. I mean, we accept that. That can basically fall back into general. And then, because yeah. like Mike said, I mean, we pay well over that per year for education. So if we leave that tied to that, I mean, that's fine. I think it'd be better if you guys wanted to do any type of stipulations it would be on that or what you wanted to do with that is what I was curious about. You want that mainly for the monument lot and the rec field or how would you... Our, would saving, you our savings and checking, we wanted to apply some of that money to the monument. Mm -hmm. And we've already talked about the few things that we need to do that Robbie Haley, if we could get him involved. I can call Rob. Um, Eddie Grant had been talking to Robbie about um, putting up some of that ready rock mm -hmm. and uh, maybe making a flower bed or sprucing up mm -hmm. the front of mm -hmm. the monument lot. And whatever monies that the rec department's been looking at spending down at the ball fields. I know they wanted to put in a walking trail for the town and the kids. Uh, there was talk of maybe shifting a road or something. These are improvements there that could, that money could be used for that. Anything else, if we didn't use it, it would go to the town, obviously. We wouldn't take it back. It would seem like we would want, uh, it would seem like we would want them to basically come up with a document that put the conditions on it. Right. So an official position of the VA, of the, uh, the launch. Legion. Yeah, the Legion. I guess the first thing, the reason why I came up here was just to ensure that the town will take the money as a gift. It stipulates right in the town. That's, you are laws, correct. We do yeah. have to accept it, yeah. Only so, the select board can accept gifts. Well, let's make a motion that yeah. we can officially talk about it. <laughs> yeah. There you right. go. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so I make a motion that we would accept the, the basically the cash gift from the American Legion. I'll second that. Denny's discussion. Yeah, we can discuss it. We're, I think we're all very open to accepting <laughs> yeah, any and all it's... monies. Yeah. <laughs> I would hope to. Even yeah. with possible strings attached. <laughs> but I, I like Mike's idea. That's what I would, you know, like no. I said, I mean, that, the 3600 that's easy. I mean, mm -hmm. we pay mm -hmm. thousands, so I'm not concerned about that. My concern is that amount of money, and it would be better for us if we knew that out of this 24000 you want yeah, 10000 we... goes into the, the monument lot, and then that money's locked in there. That's its only thing, so it would be there forever. You can't take it out. Yeah. Almost like perpetual care. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And then you want X amount that can be used on the rec lot. Yeah for, you know, set purposes or whatever. It'd be nice if we could get an estimate of what the work would be down at the ball field. The, a walking trail, I don't have a clue. <laughs> well, well, we're we're kind of hoping that, I mean, we proposed the idea of moving this road to the rec department. Yeah. Just because of the growth and the, there has been some safety concerns down there and things like that. So the thought was if we move that road, right? you know, um, but at the same time, when we do move that road, that's going to help the cost of this walking trail because you're already going to be doing, you know, quite a bit of that work. So. Right. I'll call um, Heather Siders again and see, you know, she's promised to look over and talk to the Inland Fisheries and Wildlife guy who 
walked it with me, um, see what she thinks are chances are, and then I can try to grab some contractors and <coughs> and <coughs> work up a proposal. Yeah, that's because part of the problem there is, is until we make a decision on that road, kind of at a standstill. Yeah, right? well, we we didn't expect this to happen just like that, right. you know. It's, but it's something to be thinking about. Yep. And having the funding to do it now, maybe that. Oh, and the other thing too, though, with between the rec league and the local contractors, I mean that field. I can't remember Jason's numbers of what that would have actually cost. Mm -hmm. Was a very all the donations. Right. right. I mean that was a huge number, but the town's portion of that was really pretty yeah. minimal. So I mean I'm not saying we could do that 100 percent the same way with the road, but right. I mean there's I know there's a few of the local contractors that would definitely put some time in and do some and, and help with that. So. Oh. Well, Kelly Jordan spent a lot of time, uh, Chummy, mm -hmm. Butch Lemel, and a lot of people who have been mm -hmm. here working. So. Yep. But the reason why we're leaving is declining membership mm -hmm. and health reasons. Trying to meet up on the second floor of that building, we had several of our members just couldn't even go upstairs anymore. Hmm. And got to the point where we couldn't get enough people for a quorum for a meeting. Mm -hmm. And when the guy bought <laughs> next door to us, we had the realtor make him an offer. Said, "Hey, <laughs> won't you buy both? <laughs> we'll make you a good deal on two properties there." And at first, he didn't want anything to do with it, and we couldn't sell it because it only had a foot of property around the building itself. No one's going to buy that. And he knew it. Hmm. So he, he held off to see if he'd get an even better price. Uh -huh. So we dropped again and uh, finally we said, let's, let's just be done with it. And so that's who you sold it to? Yeah, the, the guy that bought next door. And from what, <clears throat> from what we understand, he was going to sell Turkish rugs oh. out of one of the buildings at least. Wow. <laughs> huh. I didn't know there was a big business for it. Oh, there's huge business in Turkish rugs. <laughs> Actually sell by the inch. Yeah, but up here? Well, they're, they're, I mean, they're, yeah. They're, they're yeah. 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 Who, oh. who goes on the way to Greenville and goes, oh, <laughs> yeah. look at that. Let's go in and buy a bunch of rugs. Wow. Modern technology, you can sell anything. Yeah, I guess so, and you can ship it anywhere you want. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, Ron, does this um, represent the sale of the building? Is that in here as well? I. What do you got for paperwork right there? I, 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 this, this is the building plus um, benches and incidental things that were left in the building. Okay, so that's that represents the sale of the building. Yeah, and yeah. this represents what's in the checking account now. They've got a few minor bills, like the sewer bill just came out. That they got to the sewer going to get out of together. Yeah. Correct. So those are what? That's... Yeah, so we, we don't know exactly what we still sure. need to spend sure. at this point. That's why we didn't close out the checking account. Yeah. So when we get that finalizes in the next week or so. I mean, I'm sure we owe a per capita to the state legion for what members we had up to this point. Yep. We may have to pay a little bit there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sewer, we still owe a sewer bill, I believe. Oh, yeah. Water bill, we don't have. Right. Because we never have the meter in there. <laughs> We only put it in once a year for an annual meeting, and then we pull the meter again. <laughs> well, that way we don't have a water bill. <laughs> so anyway, so I mean, there you go. Really, okay. we don't want to vote on this tonight. Yeah, uh, I, we certainly are open, but we don't actually have a, a concrete proposal yet. Right. But so you, but yes. you guys will. Sure. Yep. Yes. You're you're open to at least taking the money. Yes. yes. So your instincts were good on that one. Yeah. 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 I, I think with the stipulations you want to put on, I there's no problem. On yeah, that. we don't have many. Like yeah. I said, we just we thought we could dress up the monument area by putting in flower bed and having a rock wall or mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. sort of wall. 
and then whatever we can do for the kids down at the Veterans Park. Yep. That's great. So that's where that's where we want to spend the money. That's fantastic. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you very very You're much. Welcome. Please extend our thanks to all the members. <laughs> <laughs> I do that probably. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> it is. It's, and we find this with every organization. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm 72 when I was the youngest member. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> if that tells you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. We're going to move on to uh, item two. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Ron. Uh, I'm on my way. We'll okay. See you. Thanks. Uh, approval of the September 25th, 2019 special meeting. Make a motion to approve the special meeting minutes. Second. Uh, all in favor? We, all, we are all in favor. Um, item three, review of treasurer's warrants. Payroll, 81, 83. Accounts payable, 80 and 82. Make a motion to approve A and B as read. Second. We vote. We're all in favor. Uh, Open session. There's no one here to speak. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> I've done all of my talking. <laughs> uh, old business. Uh, General assistance ordinance renewal. Okay. We had the public. We had the hearing. Hearing. So. Well attended. <laughs> now, I just Lots need a vote that says. Um, I think there's more people actually in attendance than one of them. <laughs> I'm going to fill this out, Sandra Bell. Sign on the... So we talked about the changes last mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so this needs to be signed um, to approve those changes. And then this one is the for the appendixes that set the maximum levels of um, general assistance and you can look at those red is what they crossed at the, what they crossed out and the blue I think it's in blue the blue is the current levels does that change every year not necessarily every uh -huh. year, but it probably goes up like two to three percent. And the one that doesn't usually change is the cemetery one, Appendix yeah. Eight, and that one's gone up this year. Really? Yeah. From let's see. Oh, it's in the. It went up to fourteen seventy-five for. Regular burial and 1,025 for cremation burials. For just cremations, I guess. So, um, are you going to need a motion? I believe we need a m motion for each of these or put them all in one, one motion one, if yeah. you. This is the appendix. We are. Okay. okay. Need a motion. So, um, I mean, I know what we're doing, but. Just <laughs> make a motion to change to accept. To adopt the. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion to, uh, for 
Town of Sangerville to adopt the MMA model ordinance GA appendices A, D, and H for the period of October 1st, 2019 through September 30th, 2020. And oh, and, and, and the additions or amendments to, to the and uh, to enact the following general assistance ordinance amendments. Do I have to say with them? Sorry. Uh, any further discussion? No, we vote. And it is unanimous. Ordinance renewal. Uh, on to B, sale of the 1995 Ford L8000 and stainless sandal. Your tech literate town manager couldn't get your flyers onto uh, Facebook and uh, Craigslist. Um, mostly because one with Facebook it appears to be tied into Lois's personal account as well as Sangerville's. I can't. Uh, if tell. that's why not just start a new Sangerville account? You have okay. to change it a little bit. Okay. But, you know, Sangerville, Maine. Or... Shouldn't you? I mean, I've never tried it, but shouldn't you be able to go in and just change that? If she, if if you had her password, if I do. you have the original password, you should be able to. Yeah, you should be able to tweak it, right? And or and drop. Well, I tried that. Oh. I Lois them. may have linked her personal to it so that she would get notices, but that doesn't mean that you can unlink it. Okay, I couldn't figure But if out. you can't, it's not a big deal to just start a new Sangerville. I could change the password, but I couldn't figure out how to unlink to her account. What happened was she actually went in and tried to post, and it came up under Lois. Yeah. Uh, so I would, I would somehow start new. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing, they... Craigslist and um, Facebook asked for a price. What are you? What do I put in? Uh, I would. I Every would, time I type words, so I think maybe in the heading, so I would I, put in myself bid. personally. I usually do like one, two, three, four, five. Or a lot of people do that. They'll put a price in, like a, a million dollars right. or okay. zero. Right. Uh, I would go high yeah. and then explain that you're taking bids for this, right. and they yeah. open the bids and da da da, and everybody okay. gets that. Okay. Do you want me to add a week now to the? Sure. Or till our first November meeting instead of yeah, our, our last I, October. Yeah. Because yeah. it, would, yeah, cause okay. it only would be two weeks, right? Right. Uh, right. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I'll do. Okay. Sorry, I just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it wouldn't go and... And if you, if you have some problems with it, let us, you know, one of us will come help... Uh, <laughs> Because we do want to get it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I've been yeah. I've been selling stuff for my uncle yeah. on Facebook, and mm -hmm. it really works great. Yeah. So. Well, I was looking today to see if. Well, then they do. You, you run into a hiccup and you can't get her unlink that. Yeah. I would send Facebook a message, and that would work. Well, yeah. or I mean, what about reaching out to Lois yeah. and just yeah. asking her to to right? But she may not be able. The way the page is built, okay. may not, if okay. it doesn't allow that. Okay. Yeah. That's what I would do is I would reach out to Facebook and yeah. I, I yeah. do know a lot of people that's had issues and they reach out and you get a response fairly quickly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Pretty good to work through some stuff. So okay. they may have a better idea. Maybe we didn't even build it the way we should have where it's a revolving. Municipal. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Where it doesn't want yeah. to be connected. Because really it shouldn't be linked to anybody. A private no, account. It, it should just be linked to the town manager's uh, right. Right. desk or email, email, you know. And, right. Position. Yeah. Right. Okay, I can I can do that, but I didn't get it done before I went on vacation. So I just hate the thought of even if we create a new one, if we create it the same way, right? Road I know, so, right, right, right. Okay, uh, I am six new business. Yeah, I didn't get there. Um. Okay, committee reports. No. Correspondence? We do have some correspondence. The state um, sent me this letter. Um, enclosed is the recorded easement deed for the town of Sangerville, signed lo located on the property of Maine DOT. Letters have been mailed to the abutters of our lot seeking bids on the property. The letters informed the bidders that the property was encumbered by an easement for the town. Um, the bids are due November 1st. Hmm, great. It's very good. Yeah. That's, that's going to get sold. Yeah. 
Okay, good news. And the same, um, the same easement document is attached, so that you know that. Okay, next, the Nature Conservancy. I don't understand this, but it has. Um, we are pleased to announce a new energy efficiency funding opportunity for Maine's towns and cities. The Nature Conservancy in Maine is issuing a request for funding for proposals to small municipalities under 4,000 to upgrade out-of-date lighting in the municipal buildings and save on energy costs. Through January 31st, 2020, qualifying municipalities will be eligible for funding to cover approximately 75% of the cost of converting to high-efficiency LED lighting inside and outside municipal buildings. Um, the Conservancy in Maine has recently surveyed town managers, planners, and select board members across the state. Our survey found that the municipal officials are concerned about energy costs, but lack upfront funding in some, is sometimes a barrier to investing in energy efficiency measures that can save on energy costs. Furthermore, while some towns have converted to LED lighting in municipal buildings, there are still many opportunities to make Maine's towns and cities more energy efficient, saving taxpayers dollars in the process. More Information of the program is attached, including eligibility criteria, application instructions. 50,000 total grant funding is available, and the application deadline to request funds is October 25th. Oh, geez. We look forward to receiving your application. It's not a... Oh. Is it just for LED lighting? It's not for a new furnace. No, it's all... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, energy efficiency. Energy it's just like it's usually I mean, they're very specific. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I would think it would include the fire department. Yeah. Well, I was thinking the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's a pretty in and out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know what kind of lighting do they have? Those big old halogen things. Probably have fluorescent. Oh, yeah. fluorescent. You just yeah. the only thing is to just a warning because I've changed over a zillion of these in our work. And especially in and around here with a white ceiling and the low ceiling is they have to use the right LED light. Oh. I'm not going to be happy. Oh. They do make, for like these type areas, once it's installed, you would not know that it's an LED. You would actually think it's a fluorescent. Oh. And they, I mean, they're a little bit brighter. They, you got the energy efficiency, but they're not that LED. Clear of it. Yeah. So it wouldn't be just putting new bulbs in this. It would be new lighting fixtures. You'd have to re no, oh, right, you can retrofit a lot of the old fixtures. Right. It depends on, okay. that's what I mean, I what see. they're going to do. They're not terribly expensive either. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't know what product right. they would be providing, but I put, uh, I put a dozen of them in my garage and I, I bought a box of them for like, you know, one hundred fifty dollars. This type, this yeah, this four footers. Oh wow! Two two lamps per four right. foot strip. They ended up costing me like twelve dollars a piece. Wow! So so and they do a reasonably good job. Right. Um, so, but uh, it, it would be interesting to know what they're using over on the fire. Do, do you know what they're using, Dale, over there? What lighting they're I don't using? What they're using? Yeah, they're, I think they're all fluorescent. Like, I think, I think, think so. so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Unless they've got some, I don't remember whether they're, are they horizontal, are they long bulbs or are they round? Those big they're round, they're probably halogens. Yeah, those big old round lights. I don't remember. I don't remember. But you can even I'm replace saying. those. You can get round LEDs now and wow. they might have 500 oh, yeah, of the, diodes in right. it. So. Yep. Right. Yep. But I mean over there, it may be better to actually, if they're not running these, it may be better to mm. Very upgrade good. to strips. Yeah. Mm. What did it say? They would refund 70%? 75. 75%. It's, and then, I mean, if you're going to do a cost-benefit analysis, you know, what is the light bill? Right. How long does it take to get back our 25%? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I might, my guess is it probably would take a while. Yeah. I, I don't know how much to say. I don't think these are terrible. Right, right. Right. And they don't look very good. And right, and here's the other thing is how often I mean it's not like we're burning these all day long. No. You know what I mean? And and same thing with the fire department. It's right. on just a few hours a week. Right. Right. I mean the benefit of it, you know, manufacturing where you you're running them twenty four seven. Right, right. You know, the life expectancy of one to the other is not even comparable. Right. Even a school. Right. Correct. But in here we're turning them I mean these don't get right. Mm. Five two hours, hours a week, two hours a month. I was going to say five hours a month. Right. Yeah. The I mean, the office, does the office have fluorescent lights? Mm -hmm. It does. 
but um, right. so few that right. I just would be surprised if the payback was worth chasing. But right, because I mean, I mean, I'm, just, I mean, I could replace them, but would we have to get an electrician to do it? Mm -hmm. That uh, probably so that's part of the whole cost. Right, right. Part of your total. Yeah. Oh, but a lot of times, I mean, you get somebody that you know. You the way a lot of that stuff is done. Some of it is volunteered. Some right. of it is full rate. Right. So right. sometimes you almost you wash wash out your twenty five percent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. But if you were in a, and, and it's funny because they're targeting small municipalities. Mm -hmm. But if you're in a big municipality, mm -hmm. it might be where there's a lot of hustle and bustle and. Activity Things and big, on. Yeah. 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 I mean, Bangor could retrofit and pay for itself yeah. probably pretty quickly. Uh, but it's probably the reason, though, is they only get X amount of money. And yep. They yeah. can spread it. Well, fifty grand isn't and... much. No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. So you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do we want? Do we? Do we have to make? A I don't think we have enough information yet to make the decision, and no. we don't have any time. Right. We can't do a cost-benefit analysis. No. No. Right. But you're going to, and imagine like a Cambridge or a Garland. I mean, yeah. it'll be interesting to see how much of this funds are used. Yeah. But that's how a lot of these smaller towns are, would do something like that, is where you do have volunteerism. You know, it's yep. not, it's almost a no, it's an initial upfront cost, but your cost is almost, right. it's a no cost in the end. You have to find a qualified partner who's a contractor to work with Efficiency Maine, go on the um, website and find that. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. They come in, they record the existing lighting conditions. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's quite a bit to it. Uh, Oops. Yeah. yeah. Are, are there outside I can't lights? get anybody to come in and do right. minor repair work, let alone... Right, do, a, do an analysis. Or, <laughs> yeah. Are there those outside lights, you know, those ones that everybody has, do we... Are there... I, I haven't ever noticed. I, well, I can see one right there. It looks like a mercury vapor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Those... those I, I, does that go on dust to dawn, I wonder? Or no, I leave it off. Oh, you do. Good. I think there is one over on the fire. Yeah, the yeah that one. That, that one is on. But yeah. So anyway, we don't have enough time, probably, yeah. right? Yeah. I I mean, it's nice. But they might do this again. Sure. Next year, sure. it's one of those things. To sure. Yeah. Think yep. about it and get. Yep. Uh, yep. And honestly, like Mike said, if it's something you really want them to do, they're not that expensive, and you can. Right. Right. Yeah. As they go out, I wouldn't buy the rest of them. No. Start changing them over. That yeah, way. that's a good idea. Okay. And uh. lastly, the Hughes has sent us a letter. It says, uh, Dear Ms. Armstrong, thank you for your telephone call on Tuesday informing us that the town will be taking over the snow plowing on the first mile of West Road. This is much welcome news, and we cannot express enough how we how pleased we are that the consideration that was given to the camp owners by you and the select board. Please convey our gratitude to everyone that was involved in making this decision. Thank you again. Sincerely, Milton and Kim Hughes. Very good. Very nice. Um... Anything further on any of those? No? Uh, item 9, request for additional agenda items. Selectment concerns. Sand pile. Yeah, I was waiting. Seeing, <laughs> seeing who was going to get on top of the sand pile. Well, I talked to Mr. Jackson today. He's, um, he wants to do it next week. No, not next week, the 22nd. Um, that means I'd have to get salt in. Mm -hmm. He suggested maybe getting the newts to do the mixing instead of Seth. Let Seth work on roads and um, see if Warren and Chris wanted to mix the mm -hmm. sand and salt. That's really your call. I haven't gotten... It just needs to be done. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, really, yeah. at this point. Right. We were, it was about the 22nd of oh, last year, sure. we were spreading sand because it yeah. snowed and it was a mess. Yep. So, I will get that taken care of this, mm -hmm. this week. It's, I've got calls out to everybody and yep. I'm going to see if I can make it happen. Yep. Just whoever does it, and I know the newts already know this, but that sand that's on the pad is actually all the take-up sand that's here. Warren told oh. me. So, Warren really, me. that needs to be... Warren knows that he... he I know Warren, they do because they put it there. But yeah. They definitely know what they're so doing. So if, if that works... Right. 
The only other thing that I'd like to add on to that is that whole area as a whole. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about this last year and it didn't, but Seth's grader sitting there. Yep. And I'm, maybe that's not the best tool for the job, but that parking lot was equally as bad as this parking lot as far as six inches of goo in the spring. Yep. So if they clean that lot up, it'd be good timing. And not only that, there's still, there's random piles of gravel and I just, mm -hmm. to drive by it, it could use some work to get cleaned up and get ready for full winter comes, that's all. Okay. I'm not sure Maybe. who sat dudes, whoever, but yeah. it would just make it easier to get it cleaned up and then when winter comes, it just makes everything better. Yeah. I have a random question. When do you think I need to get the docks pulled? I would any, say any, 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 time, the any minute, any time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, now, would, is it now? Is okay? You should. Well, I would say I would, honestly, if I can get anybody to it. If you could wait another week or two, I know on my side there's still boats coming and and I, I they're still getting them out. But I wouldn't. If you can't, you need to get somebody this week. Get them this week. Dexter still has theirs there, yeah. but uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure they're all coming out here in the next. But I'm, I'm before there. November first. If you get somebody yeah. to do it. I'd take it. Yep. I'm not sure that I can, but... <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, you'll get somebody... I, I mean, I'll be calling, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm not sure I can get somebody who will say, oh, I can do that next right. week. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I'm sure I can get somebody who will say, I will, we'll do it when... Right. Yeah, yeah. I get it lined when, up. When we get them in. It's not the... Yeah, I mean, we don't need to be into mid-November. We no. don't want to bust them out. No. As long as it's before the end of the month is guaranteed, but... Okay. Yeah. Um... I mentioned this before, but I, I only because I drive by it when I go down the Sos Mills Road at Brockway Mills. That that hill, the, that grade portion that connects to Sos Mills Road is a mess. It needs grading. Probably needs some gravel. Needs some gravel. And some it, it really needs to be done before we start plowing snow over there. I think there's, and I haven't headed further up, but I, that initial ramp is a disaster. There's few spots on random dirt roads that. Really, I mean, if Seth's going to keep going on hot tub over there, if we could throw somebody else, yep. if yeah. available, might even need some gravel over there. Yeah, he, need some gravel. Yeah, it, is Seth grading dirt? Well, he, he I saw him driving his grader he last started week. Started doing so. some graving, gra graving, grading. Yeah. Um, but I think yeah. A lot of these need some work before we grade them. I think the little crossover road that connects to Townsend Road. Mm -hmm. he, he he graded that. Yeah. I noticed today when I went by there. Um, but it's, it doesn't. I, it just we gotta. It needs to be hit. That's all. So, but Anderson could probably. That's kind of worrisome because he's holding that way already. He may have already been on Brockway. I think that needs some gravel. We're we'll putting the grade around as well. Yeah, all that rain just demolished that. Um, well, I think there's well. the other one is uh, shoot across from Bean Hill. Oh, Jack, Jack the corner. corner. That uh, that needs some material and some bulldozer work over there because that's the ditches is not good and it's washing that road up pretty good mm -hmm. i haven't gone that way in a while so uh, as long as we're talking about roads i did send another email to um mrs roundy Mm -hmm. um, she did not get back to me, but I, I, I said that we were having a meeting today and just wanted to confirm that we were looking good for next week. I called her Monday, too, so she knows we're both yep. on our case. I said I'd be calling her Thursday to check to make sure that everything was proceeding. Based on what she said, we should look good because the weather cooperated this week. So I'm very hopeful that... Mm -hmm. You know, that they're my, getting the work done. Yeah, the impression that I got that is if the weather cooperated this week, we're next week. Okay. So, and right now, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it looks all look good. good. Look good. At this peak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, moose on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So it was all rain, and then it keeps. Now it's all sun. So. Yeah. Well, uh, how do they? How do they? How do they blend that in? Like right now, uh, pleasant. Road Street Avenue. F. Yeah. F. Then you go into McFeeders and it really drops down now. Do they, does, how does that get 
built up so that it's a nice transition. Does brownies do that? So that needs to be the prep of the road prior to. He's so going to grade should... the road before okay. they pave right. it, so hopefully that he can transition. Right, because there's quite a good transition as well over on the other side, on the west side. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Going towards parking. I'm not sure that gets Seth on that, because that needs to be done sooner than later to get packed. He's leaving Friday. For where? Dirt moose hunt. What? Because he's going to be grading, he needs to grade that. He's leaving this road. Friday? Mm-hmm. And so and he has he got it. someone that's grading? Bravis usually grades. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't oh, okay. grade. He doesn't oh, okay. Grade. Oh, okay. Okay. But, but he's McFeeders, kind of been dodging me, though, so. Oh. McFeeders, I mean, Mike uh, um, uh, explained to me that the, the process is grading prior to paving. Because okay. uh, road was beautiful two and three weeks ago. Perfect for paving, and so now it's it does have some potholes. Mm -hmm. No, you'll have to kind of reshape okay. it whenever you do it. Okay. Um, so I'll have a conversation with Brownies tomorrow to see what mm -hmm. they're talking, and then get the grader out there. I, I hopefully everything goes mm -hmm. great, but I, I do think it's reasonable for us to start at least thinking about you know what we might Plan do B. if things don't Plan go B. great yep. um, to me worst case scenario and, it, and actually it could be worse than this but if, if we end up having to find someone to buy that mm -hmm. before winter that would that would be kind of my default strategy I'm thinking but I don't know I don't even know if you're going to go with that theory, you, I mean, you'd think and go to the end of the week if you don't have brownies on done by Friday? That, I'm starting to get somebody else. You know, based on what they told us, yeah. uh, we should have a really definitive answer at the end of this week. Uh, and if we, I guess, if we start to feel a lack of confidence, mm -hmm. we're, we may be faced with having to make a decision mm -hmm. that is a bit of an unknown. I mean, mm. if they keep telling us they're coming, but they don't come, right. how long are we going to do that? I right. Guess. And I mean, the weather's only getting colder. We'll Correct. Only get colder, mm -hmm. and then we're going to get knocked out of the. Yeah, we could be in a position where it's just too late. Right. And I really don't want to leave that road all winter like that. No, we put the binder on it, and I mean that would basically be what we've always done in the past. And yeah, if we did that, ability wise, we'd be fine. I, I wouldn't be thrilled, but I'd be better than leaving <clears> it <throat> the way it is. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been told that that's the best scenario. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think what, to leave it or to just to bind, bind it? it? To bind it and leave it till spring to... I wouldn't be upset if we had to, but it doesn't, okay. I mean... Yeah. I, I, to I, bind it and leave it spring, this change you have to shim it again in spring. Mm. Oh, yeah. If you overlay it now, you don't have to. It would be good. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to finish it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's the plan. I mean... Yeah. So, but I just think we should all be aware that based on the level of communication we've gotten so far. Mm. Uh, right. Please remember that you've had more communication in the last week than you've had in the last months since you've been dealing with them. Though. Yes. So I, I know it's frustrating and yep. I'm, no, I'm, I'm trying to get a hold of them on a different non-town related mm -hmm. about some work and I'm, we're striking out just more than this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we're not getting any calls back. So She was very nice on the phone. and, yeah. and I, I said, I totally understand. I said, this this rain has been unbelievable. Right. I said, we've got to have some good communication. Right. She said, we they actually had a phone system that was not working. So hopefully everything is good going forward. So we'll see. Right. I'm and then just, just, oh, sorry, go ahead. I said, I'm hoping they're just got so much work to do and they're, they're almost afraid to call because they don't want to false promises or, I, I don't know. I just... There's a lot of people using them. I know that. Mm. I'm trying to stay focused, positive. Mm. Uh, anything else on Slightmink's concerns? No? Mm. Okay. Executive session? Nope. Make motion to adjourn. Second. One in favor? Yep. Okay. It is quarter of six, and we are adjourned.